Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial video where I'm going to explain briefly how to spawn buildings in your world similar to what I did for the buckle dealership and the pipeline. So follow along. Now what you have here is a building but is it really a building or is it fully movable? I can't push it with my character but it spawns like a building, it drops, it's not in this spot and obviously you may not want a building here let alone a creation that can't even move. So, you do use your workbench just like this to build your building. Now, obviously, if it's a much larger building, you'd have to use a bigger workbench. So this uh, pipeline is about the biggest, well, not the biggest, but it kind of limits in at least in length for this workbench, but you could use the uh, oil platform workbench, which is bigger just like I did for the dealership. As you watch this, this is built on the oil platform. Yeah, it's not ideal, but it gets the job done. You'll see it spawn up now. So that's how I built this. And like I said, obviously we don't want it here. You know, you want it in the desert or whatever, not on the top of the oil platform. So this is the steps you do. So back to our example of the building, we're going to use this little thing as an example, but pretty much you've built your building, you have it ready to go, and what do you do? Well, let me tell you, you don't have to have your building loaded or spawned, but you press escape, you go to this button here, add on editor. Now, if you're familiar how to load and make your own add-ons, then this video is not for you, but this is a basic introduction to people that do not know how to do this. So we're just going to call this building. And now what you do is you press here, select a location to mod. So we're going to add an environment mod. When you press this button, it gives you all these options and it gives you tons of them. You can have all of these locations all over the map. So it actually helps to have this available to you. It is both of the maps and all of their locations. So for example, this is 17 underscore 11. This is 18 underscore 11, 18 underscore 12. So you get the gist. It pretty much unlocks for you all the locations of the map so you can understand where it is you're placing it because a lot of these things, for example, this 14 dash underscore 5 and 13 underscore 5, if you just see these thumbnails, you have no idea where this belongs on the map. But since we are already on the creative island, we're just going to press the creative base here and this pops up like that. Now you have all these buttons, delete, test location, select location and edit objects. Delete obviously deletes this environment mod. Test location we're going to get to in a bit. Edit location lets you change your location and edit objects is what we're after right now. So you press edit objects and you see the 3D block pretty much like a square of this location now actually it'd be kind of cool to add like some underwater wreckage around here because you kind of see the beach and all that stuff but we're not interested in that now what we're going to do is add the building now you can add all this stuff you can add a character object zone vehicle flare all this stuff i'll let you explore that on your own but pretty much what you can do is you can press add vehicle now the game treats your building as a vehicle and here it is. Now it's actually not very big, so it's not like you're adding something super substantial, but you can drop it and just click by clicking down. And it's a bit tough to rotate, like it doesn't give you the options it gives you when you're in the free mode, so you kind of have to play around with your middle mouse button and right mouse button to navigate and zoom like doesn't really work as well. So anyway, uh, you do have the ability to click on that object. So you've added your vehicle, right? Just like this, we've added a vehicle we're gonna delete this one but we've added our building okay now what you do is when you press on it this pops up on the side and you can actually select a name for it tag is more for the coding so we're gonna not talk about that in this video maybe I'll do a follow-up video with Sheppy 5 he's the one that's a master of the Lua coding but for me I just do the pretty but dumb things so we put our display name as building. Now we don't want to change this. We don't want it. We do want to have it static because it's a building. We don't need keep vehicle active because if we leave 
it far enough. We want it to despawn and not mess up our, um, make it laggy in our game. We don't need it to be editable. We do want to show it on the map. We don't want a transponder active. And you can kind of see here it says is invulnerable. We'll say true so it cannot get destroyed. And there we have it. Now, you will want to rotate this if you want. So obviously you could rotate the building, have it positioned such that makes sense to you. You can also move it here. Now what you can't do is resize it because it's a fixed size. And there you have it. Now you can also replace it. And this is the menu on the left hand side. So you can actually add more things. For example, you can add yourself a car. And then this one, you don't have to have it static. You don't have to have any of these. Sure, you could make it show up on the map, but that's not important. We're not talking about cars, but this is how people spawn really big creations that cannot fit in your um, ship bay here. So that's how they do them. They spawn them like this. Anyways, back to this. We've spawned our building or we've inserted our building. And now the next step is you can go back to this add on overview. And if you press this test location, you just saw it show, pop up over there. And we can no clip to it over here. We could test out that we're happy with its location, height, all that stuff. So it's pretty much what we expect now. It's a building, so you can't destroy it. And it, it'll despawn but stay here. Now on your map, right now it shows up, if we just go a little further away, it shows up like this, like a vehicle. And it even doesn't say building, so that is why we're going to have to have a little intro into that stuff from Sheppy 5 but here you have it your building is added now and that was just testing it out now you can actually play with it I mean you can play with it where we just were if you escape and load your test location then you can have it and play with it but that's not the best way to play with it the best way to use it actually is to then save this add-on here You'd save it as building, and then you would actually quit your game. You'd go to the menu, and in the menu, you start new game. You could go to custom, enable add-ons, and then here we find building. And then you would start up your game. You'd obviously change all the other add-ons depending on what you want, what you may or may not want. But that's obvious, you know, for me at least. If it's not obvious to you, then do some research on what add-ons you do like in your game from the game developers. And then you go through the creation of your avatar, your figure, and here we are in the map. Now, first thing you'll unveil, un reveal the map, unlock the locations, and then you find your creative base, which we see here because of this, it still shows up as vehicle, but if we teleport over there, you now have this as part of your game and you could actually continue playing your game and this will just be here, okay? So this is the easiest, most basic way of adding some sort of add-on to your game or adding a building to a location that you'd want, whether it's, you know, a dock or something. Then it gets more complex because you do have this add-on editor where you now can actually code Lua. There's all sorts of things here, but that will be in the more advanced video. For this, we just wanted to explain the basics of how to add a building into your map. We'll talk about all that fun stuff after. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, possibly learned something new. Stay tuned for more content, more creations, all that good stuff. And as always, happy Stormworksing.